Well, guys, it's been almost two months since I've last done a video on this. I actually simulated the most recent week a long time ago, but I was so busy with MTWS that I didn't get around to doing it until now. So now it's time for week 11 of the 2021 DCFL season. So, of course, here is the current regular season stand in the Eastern Conference. I mean, to say Indianapolis Rabbit Stallions lead at 10-0, followed by Jacksonville at 8-2, and then Philadelphia at 5-5. Five and five. Meanwhile, in the Western Conference, Chicago leads at 6-4, and four, followed by Tacoma having the tiebreaker over um, Oakland at 5-5. Five and five. So now let's take a look at the schedule for the week. And here is the schedule for week 11 as it starts off with Indianapolis at Baltimore. And of course, this is big for Indianapolis. If they win or um, Philadelphia loses, they will clinch a playoff spot for the fourth year in a row. And then it would be um, Jacksonville at Boston. Then a big one to Eastern Conference is Philadelphia visits New York. And then it would be Kansas City at Chicago. Then Oakland at San Diego and finally wrap up with a big one the Western Conference as Tacoma visits Seattle in an inner like Seattle Tacoma metro area matchup so now let's go see the results for week 11 so here is the result for week 11 as we start with Indianapolis at Baltimore as Indianapolis barely won it 41-34 Baltimore marched down field to try and get a game win I mean, game tie in touch I mean to say but they were stalled so Indianapolis won it they stay undefeated and they've now made the playoffs for the fourth year in a row as Mike Charm continue to struggle Meanwhile, in a surprise upset, Boston beat Jacksonville in a defensive struggle as they managed to pull it off in the end. Very impressive victory. And then Philadelphia and New York. Philadelphia pretty much spanked New York in the first half to go on to win 27-17 as they're over 500. As man, um, Phil, um, New York is getting closer to having a losing, a non-winning season. Then. Kansas City at Chicago. Chicago destroyed Kansas City 24-5 as they completely shut down Kansas City's offense. Then, Chicago Oakland at San Diego. San Diego had a 14-0 lead going deep into the fourth quarter. And then they completely choked, allowing um, Oakland to score 17 unanswered points to win at 17-14 as they're over 500. And San Diego's trying to avoid another losing season. Meanwhile, Tacoma at Seattle. Tacoma led for most of the game until Seattle, near the end of the game, won on a last-second field goal to win 19-17 as they're both now 5-6. And, and now, of course, here is the updated regular season stands. As we see, Indianapolis is now in the playoffs. If they win and Jacksonville loses, they might clinch the division and the conference outright, even though they still have one more game to play against Jacksonville. And, of course, no changes else in the Eastern Conference. The Western Conference, no changes whatsoever. Right now, possibly Indianapolis clinches. Actually, Jacksonville, if they win and Baltimore, New York, and Boston lose, they can get into the playoffs. So, right now, Indianapolis possibly win the division. Jacksonville getting into the playoffs is the only thing that can change right now. All right. So, then, here is the matchups for next week, Week 12. As it would be my charm visiting Kansas City. Then the, the, the conference leaders in the P UF DCFL championship rematch from last year. Chicago visiting Indianapolis. And then it will be San Diego visiting Jacksonville. Then it will be Seattle visiting New York in a big matchup. Then it will be Boston at Tacoma with a big matchup in between them. And then a big matchup between two inner outer conference matchups with a wild card spot on the line. For both of them as Philadelphia visits... Oakland. Alright, now with week 11 done, hopefully week 12 will be much sooner to be done now that I'm finished with the 2022 MTWS Championship. So, see you all hopefully soon for week 12.